Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Welcome to my channel. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. What else? Um, oh, don't forget that this is a general reading. Um... This may or may not resonate, so please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Ta-ta for now. Hi, my Virgos. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, this is your general for, um, the, for January 8th through the 16th, 2020 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we got the two of, oh, keep in mind these are general readings, not personal readings, so these may or may not resonate, so please be sure to check out your Sun, your Moon, and your Rising videos for further insight. So this is what we got going on. We got the Two of Cups, we got the World card, we got the Seven of Wands in the reverse. We've also got the Temperance card in the reverse, the Fool card in reverse, the Justice, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Sun. So with all of this, this is what, this is what you guys can expect for the 8th through the 16th. I do see new partnerships coming up. There's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio involved here, a Leo and or a Gemini. So I feel like whatever this partnership is, this could possibly even be just, you know, a sexual encounter. But whatever this is, there may be a business trip and there's a sexual encounter that happens. Um, but Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, I do feel like whatever the situation is, I feel like it's meant to be. Some of you may be meeting your life partner your twin flame, your soulmate, somebody that you're most compatible with. I feel like this person, maybe you met them two weeks ago or you you met them on the second. Um, but either way, when you're together, I feel like uh, you don't want to be apart. So you may meet because you traveled, business trip, leisure trip, whatever the trip is, and then you reunite with them soon or you live locally to each other. But for some reason, you don't see each other for about three weeks. Or, or until the 21st. But I feel like even though there's a break or separation, it's showing here that there was never really a separation because it says that you two were meant. This is meant to be. This is a connection that's supposed to happen. I do feel like maybe somebody's a little bit embarrassed about it, embarrassed to admit their feelings about you or about the situation, but they know that this is like a match made in heaven. I also feel like somebody wants to jump ship because they're afraid of their emotions. They're afraid of what's happening here. Um, you, Virgos, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, all the way up until like, uh, I think it's April, all of your readings are very magical and romantic. So it's a good time to be a Virgo because it just shows like you guys are meeting up with your life partners, with your soulmates, with your soul tribes. This is just happening. And then we got the Fool card here. So maybe um, the person looks different than you or they speak differently than you or they're, they're a different culture than you are. Either way, you guys are still a match made in heaven. It doesn't matter what the public thinks. It doesn't matter what the world thinks. It matters what you feel, how you feel, and what kind of life you want to live. So I feel like you guys are choosing justice. You guys are choosing the right way not someone else's way. I do feel like this, yeah, it's coming in quick. Yeah, it was love at first sight. Yeah, things happen quickly. Um, there may even be a quick pregnancy that happens with this eight of wands here. See how something's growing off of there? That's usually like pregnancy, fertility, something that's growing, um, <clears throat> but it's growing fast. So I feel like for some of you, yeah, somebody, somebody definitely, but I feel like if this is happening, like a pregnancy fast, I feel like this person is definitely still gonna wanna be involved. So don't, I don't think you need to be reluctant to, to be honest with somebody and say, listen, you know, we, we did it like, you know, a month ago and guess what? Um, so I feel like this person will be there for you. They'll definitely be taking good care of you, whether this is emotionally, financially, if not all of it. I do see the devil card here. So somebody will be a little bit possessive. There also may be somebody who's got some addictions and a lot of their money goes towards those addictions, but it looks like maybe, um, whatever this life changing situation is, whether it's a, it's a pregnancy, whether it's a, a legal situation, maybe somebody, you know, they're on probation now and they can't do the things they used to do. Either way, the sun card is the outcome. So that's what'll be happening, which is a good marriage, a good, a good partnership romantically. 
Also good money's coming in, <clears throat> a good omen. I do see that for some of you, if, um, if your partner does travel for work and that's been something that's upsetting to you, <clears throat> I do see that there's possibly, they're possibly gonna be able to snag a job that's closer to home or maybe somebody's quit a job, but their new job is gonna be local and they won't have to leave after all. And that's gonna create a lot of peace within a home. That's gonna create a lot of harmony. So I feel like with that, you guys are gonna be definitely thinking positive. I do see with the Six of Pentacles here and the Devil. So now for other situations, don't let anybody use you this week. There may be somebody who comes in this week, sweeps you off your feet, and then they're like, can I borrow a, a grand? Can I borrow a thousand dollars? Can I borrow 20 bucks? Um, no, they cannot. Unless you, in, you know, unless you like getting used. Of course, if this is like your parents or something like that, of course. But if this is like a new person trying to finesse you out of your money, please be smart. Um, I keep hearing more and more that women are giving men money. And it's quite shocking to me. I'm like, since when? Since when are these women, when, since when are women feeding, feeding funding and blanking men? Like, what the hell? Just randomly passing out money to men you've known for two days? Like, they got access to your bank account like that? Like, what? I mean, I'm not clowning anybody. You guys do what you do. But definitely somebody's, there's definitely somebody that's going to be trying to come around to do that to you. Um, this could even, for some of you, for a few of you, this could be a woman doing this. But for most of you, it's going to be a man doing this to a woman or a man doing this to a man. Trying to finesse somebody out of their finances, either to get high or just because they like to just take people's money. They think it's funny. Um, all right, my Virgos, have an amazing eight, um, January 8th through the 16th, 2020. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now.